Never wait for hot water again with a tankless water heater from Plumbing Experts. Tankless water heaters are easy, convenient, and now more affordable with a no interest financing for up to 18 months. Stop with the cold showers and wasted water and call Plumbing Experts today. Here's your weather video for this Tuesday, June the 18th. I'm meteorologist Bill Murray, and our rain chances are going to be going up today. You can already tell that by looking at the radar here at uh, around 623 this morning, showing showers over the western half of Alabama. Temperatures uniformly uh, generally in the uh, lower 70s, 69 up at Fort Payne, but Alabama ensconced in a warm blanket of humidity uh, this Tuesday morning. Up in the upper atmosphere, 300 millibars, that's about 30,000 feet. Uh, constant pressure level across the United States showing a uniform look at the uh, winds and and uh, sort of the topography of the pressure of the United States showing uh, strong winds. The jet stream shunted up to the north into uh, southern Canada and across the northern tier states. Uh, big trough in the southwest, another trough uh, there through the Arklatex and a bit of a, an extra trough there. Uh, barely discernible shortwave trough over the southeastern United States. Surface pressures across the United States, fairly low. You, sh you see those in the shades of green, high pressure showing up in the uh, bright shades of blue and light purple there. Uh, of course, we have the big uh, Bermuda High over uh, the uh, western Atlantic, uh, pumping moisture up into Alabama. You can see that on the precipitable water data, showing uh, high precipitable water data is now uh, values coming up uh, out of the Gulf of Mexico into eastern Mississippi and Alabama. That gives us high confidence that we will um, have high rain chances today across Alabama. This is the HRRR and uh, 19Z or 19 uh, Greenwich Mean Time or 2 p.m. Central Time uh, showing that uh, first batch of uh, showers moving on off into Georgia. And um, we'll see the development of showers and thunderstorms uh, across uh, eastern Mississippi and into western Alabama during the afternoon hours. Now, I think some of those could be strong. They won't get out of hand. We're barely going to get out of the lower 80s, maybe some middle 80s today. But uh, they'll have gusty winds and uh, heavy rain and, of course, some very dangerous lightning. So if you're near one of those thunderstorms this afternoon, uh, just be careful and take it seriously. Now, showers don't really uh, go away overnight tonight. I think we'll see a few showers remaining through the overnight hours tonight. This is the 3-kilometer uh, dam at 1 a.m. Showing those showers across Alabama, eastern Mississippi. We'll deal with those through the overnight hours. Now, as we move forward to Wednesday, I think the rain chances lessen. Um, and that's borne out here by the uh, GFS uh, looking at uh, Wednesday afternoon conditions across Alabama. Generally dry. Um, you can see surface pressure there, uh, surface low pressure organizing over northern Missouri. And uh, that'll be a factor for us on Thursday. Uh, the Europeans showing a good chance of showers and thunderstorms um, across Alabama Thursday morning. And I think um, because some of the uh, parameters will be in place, we'll have instability, we'll have better wind shear, uh, there is a chance that we'll see severe weather on Thursday. So that's something we'll have to watch. Of course, the main threat would be damaging winds. But with the colder temperatures aloft associated with the trough, we might even see some small hail, maybe even some hail large enough to... Um, uh, reach the severe criteria of one inch. We'll you know, be watching that to see. And uh, I don't think we can even rule out the possibility of tornado. Um, we know tornadoes can occur any month of the year in Alabama. And, uh, of course, June is no exception. And this is one of those rare situations where we might see that possibility. So we'll be watching that closely. Uh, not anything to get um, concerned about, but something to watch as we go through time. Now, here's Friday afternoon. The uh, Trough finally lifts out. Surface high pressure there uh, near uh, Asheville, North Carolina begins to take over. And Alabama's weather will begin to improve, at least if you like drier conditions. A few showers left across the state on Friday. I think they're mostly gone on Saturday and Sunday. Temperatures will be heating up uh, as a result. Um, these uh, readings off of the um, European showing the lower temperatures today. 82, the forecasted high for today, Tuesday. Um, back to 88 tomorrow, then back only into the lower 80s on Thursday with the clouds and rain. Um, and then uh, improving, uh, or at least increasing temperatures as we go into the weekend, uh, lower 90s by Saturday and Sunday. Some more rain chances coming just off the scale uh, in, in the early time frame of next week. But I'll choose uh, Voodoo Land to be July 3rd, getting close to July 4th. And uh, if you can believe the GFS and hope that it might be right, 
Uh, we might have been visited by a weak front that might clear things out, uh, making for some nice conditions for the 4th of July. Well, that's your weather video for this Tuesday, June the 8th. Um, I will give this seat over to Scott Martin the next couple of days because of travel, and uh, he'll take over the video. But until the next time I see you, which I think will be Sunday morning, I'll tell you to keep an eye to the sky because you'll always have something fun to look at. Some things in life are just made to go together. Peanut butter and jelly, rock and roll, the sun and the moon. These things got Blake Sanders, the owner of KS Services, thinking, what can we pair with our superior heating and air service to make our customers even happier? Plumbing Experts by KS Services was born. So the next time you have a clogged line, leaky faucet, or water running all through the house, know there's a reputable company out there on call just to click away. Call KS.com, your trusted source for heating and cooling and now plumbing.